What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we got the alternate universe themed by Vic four player arcade cabinet. That is a 55 inch screen. Check it out. <laughs> Oh man, I am so excited for this video. You have no idea because I have another video coming out with my personal Bivik 4 players. I'm always excited for all my builds, but this one, whoo, it just feels so good. It is exactly what I envisioned. That was the best thing, seeing it like writing it on paper and then kind of like when I was building it and I saw it like cut, I was like, oh man, I, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but in its final form, Man, I, I am just so excited to show this off to you guys. I'm so excited to build more of these. People have seen, obviously, on Instagram all the videos. I'm getting a lot of emails. I did add it to the website, but I don't really have that much details yet because I am shooting these videos and taking pictures. It's just an amazing feeling, especially like, you know, just it went from paper to this. And I am just so excited for it. This video, I'm going to really talk about this specific cabinet. I'm gonna make my own separate video talking about exactly what the Bivik series is gonna be. I'm gonna tell you now, it's gonna be a series of cabinets now. Taking my wife's advice and also a couple of you guys in the community, uh, this Bivik design will become a series. Um, I'm gonna also go into why it was called a Bivik design and why, what is Bivik. I can already tell and all that. Basically, just keep in mind with this cabinet, I did see this design in the wild i'm gonna i'm gonna explain it a lot i did see this style i would say uh not exactly like this as you could see but it is very similar the one i saw in the wild was a street fighter 5 cabinet by king is the name of the cabinet or creator or company whoever it is so if you do a google search for by king street fighter 5 arcade cabinet you will see what looks like this but uh, my cabinet is a lot different. It's, it's, it's got a couple of modifications. This right here is Rev B. The Rev B will be forever now the main cabinet design. Again, in the other video I'm gonna mention, you will see my personal cabinet, which was Rev A, that had a footrest, which is what the original cabinet by King was designed. I took that out because it just wasn't working out that well, and not to mention the cutting of the wood and so on. But this is gonna be the standard four player design. And again, I'm gonna be making a Bivik series. What does that mean? Next up, I do have the Guitar Hero cabinet. I originally was gonna make my Guitar Hero cabinet based on the real Guitar Hero arcade, but my wife suggested, Vic, don't do that. This right here is so eye-catching and it's so mind-blowing. Stick with this design. And number two, a competitor out overseas, he's doing that. So I don't wanna bite and copy him. We're gonna stick with this design. So basically, again, you do see a four player style. I'll make a two player style. I do have a guitar hero style and a shooter style. So there's a lot of styles. Again, it will be the by Vic series. I'm just so excited to get to cutting because after this video, I'm gonna cut for the guitar hero cabinet. So let's look at this specific build right here. So you are looking at a four player arcade stick setup with LED cup holders and a 55 inch screen. Unreal, it is unbelievable. Again, I've been doing this for seven, almost eight years now and the biggest thing I do get is, hey Vic, I don't want a 32 inch screen. What can you do with bigger screens? And again, I'm happy to say that I'm no longer using Gaming Solutions cabinets. This is just way, 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 way better. Not only structurally and integrity and all that, but it is just overall amazing and way better. It's not MDF, I had to use laminated birch. So this is built like a tank and it's lighter than MDF too. I am getting a lot of questions of people saying, hey, how much do you think it weighs? Think of it as this, the control panel does come off on its own. That is separate piece because you do want to fit this through a doorway. The cabinet bear without the control panel on it is 31 inches deep. So usually out here in New York, 32 inch doorways are kind of standard. So 32 will go through the door. Uh, as far as wide here also, it is 30 inches wide. So, 
and I could make these custom made. So if you don't, if you need something less deeper or less wider, you could let me know. I could make that happen. But with laminated birch, if I take the control panel off, which definitely will come off, and the TV back into the box, I've even done it with my other cabinets, like the Konami cabinet. I'm able to put this on my truck on my own. I tilt it back, I lift up the bottom, and it goes. So as far as weight, I don't have a scale. I can't really tell you how much it weighs to overshoot it, to throw a number, maybe like 200 pounds? I don't know, don't count me on that, I don't know. The best thing though with laminated birch, it is able to withstand the casters without ripping out anything. So it is on casters, all my builds are on casters. This is just awesome, it, it's amazing. Again, 55 inch screen. Somebody already emailed me, they want a 65 inch screen. I'll be brutally honest, I wouldn't go 65. Just alone, from the edge of the TV here to the edge of the control panel, I am 32 inches deep. I am convinced, I've seen other people, I've seen other arcades, for example, Gaming Solutions, I've seen the Mega Cades. I definitely, I'm calling, I'm the deepest, and it, you know, that's what she said, but I am the deepest uh, as far as four player cabinets. It's, it's not as close, I can see the entire screen, I'm not burning my retinas looking at this thing. I think it is perfect. I wouldn't go bigger and worst case you could go smaller. As you can see the TV is external. That's what makes it so great and more user friendly and accessible. It's basically on a TV mount. So if you wanted to put a 49 inch screen, you want to put a 32 inch screen, that's fine. It'll work. But the main standard will be a 55 inch screen. Obviously you got LEDs everywhere. Look at this thing. Oh. In the dark, I have LEDs in the rear, up above, so it's shooting up top. I do have it in the back panel, so if this is against the wall, you will also have LEDs there. You can see the base, it looks like it's floating. I even have LEDs, I add the LED strip here to illuminate the marquee. This right here is considered the marquee for me. Somebody already asked me about active marquee, which is another screen. I could basically cut this panel to put an extra screen. Oh. And the LED cup holders. I mean, that is just a beautiful sight. Look at that. Look at how the control panel opens. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys everything. I'm just so excited to show it off. But I right now have the LED set to white. Uh, I'll set it to fade real quick. I have the LED cup holders set to the red channel. So anytime the red channel is active, as you can see, we are in slow fade. It will give you that kind of breathing effect to it. And again, I added the LED strip for the marquee. This right now is 32 feet of LEDs. It is needed. The entire bottom is wrapped up the back, across the top, and obviously as you can see, the control panel has its own set of LEDs. It is awesome. It is definitely an eye-catching piece. I've actually, because I work in the garage, I work at night, so I usually have the garage door open to get air in here, and I've had so many neighbors that are just walking I had one guy and he's like, Vic, what did you make this time? And we were actually playing with it for a couple of games to it. So it's just so awesome to see it. It's, oh man, I can't get enough. So I'll give you a backstory on this. The customer originally, this was supposed to be a Pandora's box build because this was gonna go into a store and it was supposed to be used to be, you know, accept money. Um, Pandora's boxes are always the best way. Again, that Konami cabinet just went out, that went out to a pizzeria. Again, it goes from the customer, I sell it to the customer. Whatever the customer wants to do with it is on his end. So the people that ask me, oh, is it legal for you to accept money? That's not on me. I'm selling it to you as a customer. Whatever you do with it is up to you. That's on you. But this again, as I said, it's gonna be sold to somebody. It's gonna go into a shop and it's meant to accept money. That's why the coin door is on it, also for nostalgia reasons. But the coin door does work. So on that note, I did make a video on the Pandora's box. I never had issues with the Pandora's box except for that DX one that I had. The normal 18S Pro that I use, I never had it for four players. So I did have that. Again, that went into the Konami cabinet. And I originally had that. I bought that really for this specific cabinet. And upon inspecting and playing around with the Pandora's box, it has two USBs and the one that I had Specifically that 18s pro one is a knockoff One of the USBs didn't work. I messaged the company. The company told me hey Vic One USB is for a controller and the other USB is for video out. I I never heard of that, but 
All in all, that didn't work, so I went and I got a Pandora's Box DX. I've always seen great reviews. It is the official 3A Pandora's Box DX. I put it in, I install it, it works. Four player does work in free play mode. In money mode or insert coin mode, a couple of the four player games did not work. Main specific ones, The Simpsons, TMNT, X-Men, and Captain Commando, and again, there's two TMNTs, the Turtles, did not work. Basically, those games need four separate coin slots. And on a Pandora's box, it's basically just registering player one coin. So I was able to pump 30 quarters into player one, basically, but it would basically just have 30 lives for Mark. It would not allow Homer, or Bart, Lisa, it would not activate. The coins would not go to those characters. So in coin out mode, a four player game really turned into a one player game and it was a huge letdown. The other four player games worked. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, those worked. Uh, Battletoads, it basically just needs one coin slot and good to go. Now it's crazy with the Pandora's boxes, I have player two coin wired to the coin door, but Pandora's box uses coin two, player two coin, as a pause feature, and it didn't work. It just didn't work. I was letting the customer know, he goes, Vic, that's not gonna work, man. We, we, it's, it won't work, it won't work for me. So I said, listen, let's swap out the Pandora's box and I'll put a Raspberry Pi in it, and that is what's inside of this now. It is a 15,000 game Raspberry Pi build. It has all your four players, arcade games, along with other games as well. So NBA Jam works on this, the Turtles work on this, and the Simpsons work on it. Now, granted, if you see the coin there, it's a two slot. Vic, you have four players, you only have two slots. Yes, I have basically the pie set up as player one is on the left coin slot. When you put a quarter in, it actually activates player one and player three. So technically, yes, one quarter will activate two players. It's better than nothing, that's just how it is. Unless you do get a four coin slot, which unfortunately with these coin doors, I made a video about it, XRK, you're still killing me because I, before this was even thought of and the customer messaged me, I placed an order on XRK. The coin door was supposed to be shipped in May. It is right now like May 25 and no shipment. I even sent an email to XRK saying, cancel my order. I have not got an email back. Their website now basically says that, hey, the web, the emails are just so much piling, you have to wait for a response. I didn't get charged yet, but I'm hoping that they saw my email and canceled my order. I technically have a coin door on order. This right now is a Game Room Solutions coin door, so I still do use Game Room Solutions. And uh, it works, it's fine. XRK, I'm sorry guys, but you guys have no stock, so there's that. So now I normally do not suggest Raspberry Pis for commercial space. Basically what the customer is gonna do now is that he's gonna launch one game and one game only and not allow customers to basically swap between games. So he'll just do it where basically Monday is Simpsons Day and Tuesday is TMNT Day and Wednesday is Street Fighter Day. Basically he will know how to swap the games. Button is disabled here. I have a whole secret thing going on but again, if you are doing a Raspberry Pi build, I do not suggest that in a commercial setting. He did request six buttons for all the players. Normally, you just need four buttons for players three and four. He said, Vic, keep it uniform. I want six buttons. And there you go. He wanted the professional competition style button. So Zuzu had buttons on this, along with Industry with Lorenzo's joysticks. I love these joysticks. I can't get enough of them. Sandwise are great, but I do love just the feel of the ILs, so they are awesome. You do have obviously your buttons up top, your coin buttons and your star buttons. Uh, there is ways to disable the coin button basically here, you just take out the ground from the micro switch. Also I did a dedicated four way with the three buttons, so games like 1942, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, it just works great. I, I can't get enough of it, it is awesome. It's, I'm just so excited that it's finally here, it's, it's awesome. So now while I have you guys there, I might as well show off. Again, the control panel does lift, it's on a piano hinge. I got that idea from the other four player cabinet I had a while back from the marketplace find. And honestly, I studied that and I was like, wow, this is what and how control panels are built. And 
I can't get enough of it. Clean wiring as always. This right here is running a Zinmo and two Dragon Rise encoders. So it's really three encoders that are in this for four players. I basically have a bunch of connections wires here for USBs. The Pi is inside the cabinet itself. The cabinet is big enough to put a PC in it. You're gonna see my personal Scarface Vice City Godfather themed cabinet coming up. So it's just an awesome, awesome feeling. Again, this entire control panel comes off. You basically have four to five bolts, screws here. You unscrew, the whole control panel does come off. There's basically just one connection which is the LED strip. I have a hot disconnect here, one, two, three. It comes off. Once the control panel is down, honestly, gravity does feed it. It doesn't, as you can see, it doesn't really rise up, but I do have two screws in the rear that will keep it locked and avoid anybody from lifting it. But as far as like the design, I just can't get enough of it. I, I love it. So it's pretty cool. Like on the Raspberry Pi, I do have a superheroes theme category, 214 games, including arcade consoles, Game Boy, and as you can see, a track mode does hit after 30 seconds, and it's just showing off all the superhero games. You obviously have your main, you have your Final Burn Alphas, you have all that is here, but this category is pretty nice, and it's pretty cool, it's, it's awesome. So here's a little fun fact, right, because business is business. When I was designing this cabinet, I was under the impression that it would cost me less to make this style cabinet than to make, for example, the Kunami replica. And in all honesty, no, I was wrong. Uh, if anything, this costs a little bit more uh, to make than a Kunami. Let alone, obviously, you do have the four joysticks instead of two joysticks. You do have the LED cup holders on it. Basically, the big thing when it came to the Kunami cabinets or the standard two-player arcade cabinets, my biggest issue, but now I don't really have that issue anymore, my biggest issue was cutting plexi. That was, that was just a hard thing to do. I used to run with a table saw. I used to have a table saw, and I honestly wanted to keep my 10 fingers. I got rid of the table saw, and now I use a track saw. Cutting plexi is still a pain in the ass. Not to mention I have to paint the bezel. I do spray paint the bezel. If I have to get artwork for it, obviously it costs more. But basically, you know, what I learned in the end is that uh, it, this obviously costs more to make. Uh, vinyl alone, the vinyl on this is uh, almost, it, it really is actually, it's, it's, it's almost two times the cost of vinyl for the Kunami cabinet. So real quick, we're talking about vinyl. This vinyl specifically came from Tyler over at Arcade Graphics. He printed this for me. I usually use Gulf Coast decals. My, um, you know, I, I can't stress enough with Justin. He's an awesome dude. I hope everything is well. He does have a personal family issue going on. I don't want to go into it. I just hope that all is well. I did contact Justin originally for this, for the Mario sticker bomb and for my Scarface theme cabinet. Unfortunately, he said to me, Vic, I'm sorry, man. I can't take on custom orders at this time. Fine. Love that I got a, a hold of Tyler. Tyler, great stuff. He got my stuff printed within a week. Awesome stuff. Same exact stuff that Justin does. I have obviously the glossy finish on the sides. We have the textured panel here. On this one specifically, there is no matte. My Konami cabinet did have a matte print on it. So quality wise, it's almost identical. I'm not here to say who's better. I usually honestly do like to always use Justin. He's my first guy and that's just me kind of showing respect. I will always use him. But hey, RK Graphics came through in the clutch honestly and, and it definitely helped me out. On that note though, I did realize how much artwork there is, and there is a lot, a lot of artwork to it. I mean, you obviously have your two sides, right? This right here, this kind of speaker panel situation here, that is one big piece. I ordered one piece of vinyl and went up. I actually went up to the entire rear of the cabinet, which now I know to save some money, I don't need to do it because you obviously don't see the rear. But I have vinyl going up all the way to here on this panel, not the side, on this panel here. So yes, I'll be able to save money a little bit, but I also do have vinyl underneath the control panel, which honestly, I need that. That, that vinyl has to be, I have to put that vinyl. I wasn't a fan of just the straight black, um, not to mention my Scarface theme cabinet. I have white laminated birch and black. My Scarface theme cabinet actually was white here, but black on the sides. 
I like the artwork idea. It looks great. It also hides my piano hinge very well. Uh, but artwork is artwork. Again, you got the gloss kick plate. The kick plate is gorgeous. I just, I can't get enough of it, man. It's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful cabinet. Now, as far as TV, again, I went with a 55 inch TCL because TCL and Samsung's are the only TVs that I know of that will turn on once power is given. If I take the TCL out of store mode, you need a remote to turn it on. So right now this technique is in store mode. For this cabinet, it was my test cabinet. I bought the same TV for my cabinet. This TV does do 4K and it is a smart TV. It's cheap. Uh, you know, some people might not say it is cheap, but you're looking at around the $380 TV. I was going to go Samsung, but Samsung, you're looking at around $450 before taxes. So I went with the cheaper one, which was TCL. You could do a Samsung, but in all honesty, I have my 40 terabyte 4K PC on it, and it looks great. I was playing some Street Fighter V yesterday. It looks amazing. It's awesome. You can't really hate on it. Now it's really kind of cool with this specific build, customer wanted chrome T-molding and I didn't notice it, but I ordered everything and it was pretty cool, I did it on Instagram. I never did such a big order, it was three cabinet, there's a three cabinet order in one, but these all came from Groovy Game Gear uh, or also T-molding.com. Groovy Game Gear supplied everything, the joysticks, the buttons and the T-molding for all three of my arcade cabinets. I kind of misread it. Um, I understood I was getting chrome T molding, but they have this kind of unique black with chrome trim. And that is what's on this cabinet. So you do see the black and the slim line of chrome in the middle. It works pretty good actually for this specific theming. It works. I really wanted the full chrome, but uh, you know, I spent literally $600 on Groovy Game Gear. That, that shipment was a big box, it was $600 worth. I wasn't gonna argue it. And honestly, I think it looks better than just straight chrome. The chrome LED cup holders look great. And I think honestly, if I did a full chrome wrap, it might've been too much chrome. So I'm happy with it. I think it looks awesome. I think it, I think it looks great. So it's just pretty cool to kind of point that out. Very unique team molding on this one. So we're gonna load up our most famous Family of them all, just to kind of show you everything. It's kind of cool because just now somebody dropped off a RK One Up party cane, and um, it was him, his wife, and his mother-in-law that came. And I was like, "Hey, dude!" Like he, was, he saw this machine, he's like, "Whoa!" And they started playing it. They started playing The Simpsons, and I just took a step back. I should have taken a picture, but seeing four players on this, it was comfortable. Nobody was squished in between. Again, even the edge player, even if you're like here, you still see the screen, you're still in a good spot. I just love everything about it. I didn't activate Lisa, but there you go. Again, arcade is just beautiful. Four player, you wanna play some NBA Jam, you could do anything with it. It's just amazing, I, I can't get enough of it. That's why I'm personally happy that I have my personal Scarface theme one downstairs, because when I had that Facebook Marketplace find, uh, I had my family over and seeing four people on it, it was really cool. The control panel is wide enough, I love it. I could go wider if anybody requests it. It was a very weird coincidence that the control panel is the same width as the 55 inch screen. So that was pretty cool to kind of discover that and see that. I also, when I was building the control panel, it is pretty, uh, it's not deep, but I could go deeper if needed. That's what she said. Um, other competitors, I do see that they do have deep, deep control panels. And maybe that's to assist getting back, coming behind the screen more. Um, but honestly, I was able to get dedicated four-way. On my personal build, I have a trackball, three-inch, full three-inch trackball. And it's, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's awesome. Uh, I just can't get enough of how awesome it is. It's just, it's a thing of beauty. It's, uh, I can't get enough of it. It's, it's so, it's, it's so cool. It's awesome. Can't get enough of it. It's beautiful. Uh, I'll take you guys around the back real quick so you guys can see how the rear is. So again, laminated birch, batten style. You could even see the laminated birch here. 
This right here is basically hard mounted. The bottom is hard mounted and there's basically a door panel for this here. As you can see, so much room. This is running a Z313 with the subwoofer. Uh, basically learning from now on, I'm gonna have to put my power strips on the opposite side to avoid the TV power cable and all that. You got your standard connections, for example, like these right here are for the coin door with hot disconnects. You got Raspberry Pi there. And again, this is the LED disconnect for the control panel. Also real quick, cause you don't really even see it, but right here are the speaker grills. You got one and two. So you have the speakers are here. They are inside the cabinet. You don't really see it that well. It's very well hidden is probably what I should say. Uh, again, this right here is considered my marquee. Uh, I think it just looks great. I think it, it's a thing of beauty right there. All right, there you guys have it. This is it. This is the official first ever going out the door, minus the one that I have downstairs, but this is the official first ever one going to a customer. Again, it is the Bivik four player arcade cabinet. I can't wait to design more, man. This is just way fun. I already started designing the shooter cabinet. Doesn't have to be this deep. Again, the Guitar Hero cabinet is coming up. You're gonna see a pretty cool add-on with it. I basically will have something similar to this control panel. Um, there's a reason for that for my Guitar Hero cabinet. If you haven't seen me on Instagram, you would have known. Uh, basically, we're gonna be doing some scratching is the big hint on that. So it's gonna be a party cabinet for the Guitar Hero cabinet. Um, but there you guys have it. Stay tuned, I will be making a video on Rev B versus Rev A. I will never build another Rev A. Usually again, when it comes to like these cabinets, the first ones I always keep personally. Uh, that's just how it is because honestly, that's the test run, but you'll see the difference between Rev A and Rev B, but this is the official look the official design of the Bivik four player arcade cabinet. Again, if you need anything specific, again, I do make them custom made. If you need it to be a certain width, height, depth, you don't want casters, you do want casters, you want buttons, LED buttons, you let me know, I'll get it done. That's it. Welcome to my creation. This is it, that is it, this is it. I can't even say it anymore, I'm just so happy it's there, but I built that. <laughs> VP Game Page Arcades.